Hey folks, I just got back from a vacation, and what do I have? An Amazon box. So, let's unbox it. This particular box is some new networking equipment. I've decided to redo my network completely. Uh, mainly due to issues with bandwidth, believe it or not. Uh, I've had issues with my cheap routers being cheap and awful, so... I've decided to forego the wireless bridge repeater setup that I had and do something else. Airbags. So, what we're gonna do is go wired. A nice 24 port TP Link switch. Uh, this thing is gigabit, obviously. Uh, the reason I picked this particular switch is because of its size, it's a nice and small switch. I realize you can get like old 3Com switches for like 50 bucks on eBay, but I don't want fans in there because I don't like my my bedroom sounding like a freaking networking closet somewhere in a building. Uh, all this thing does, it's an unmanaged switch, so it doesn't really need to have a fan in it anyway. Um, yeah, getting to that. It's an unmanaged switch. I don't need to be, I don't need VLANs or anything like that. So, uh... This is really all I need. I don't need to set. If I really needed to separate separate out networks, I'd have gotten probably maybe a. Uh, they do sell uh, managed switches versions of these. I probably would have gotten that. But my network at home, I don't really need VLANs, so eh, decided to just get this instead. Uh, the reviews seem to be pretty positive on it, so. And they should be. It's just a frickin' switch, so it should work. Now, for those of you who aren't into networking, what a, what a switch does is use MAC addresses to uh, assign ports, uh, as opposed to a hub, which just uses layer one, which is uh, elect which is just the electrical connection. Layer two. This is layer two, so it actually uses the MAC addresses as the identifier. And that's what a switch does. And if you have a managed switch, you can mess with that a whole lot more. Get your installation guide. And you get the switch itself. This thing is tiny. Wow. Very tiny. It's very heavy, too. My favorite part. It takes a standard IEC power cord. Look at that. Fantastic. So there you have it. This is the switch I'll be using. It's nice and small, as you can see. Not much to it. It just has some ventilation and uh, plug in, a uh, plug to plug it in, and that's really it. Looks like that's all you need. I see a few capacitors in the vents in the side there, but there you go. A nice and small switch. This is the TP-Link TLSG 1024D. If you want to get one of these, they're pretty nice. What do we get with it? Aha! You get mounts. Very nice. I'm not going to need those, because I'm just literally going to slap it on the... I'll probably stick the feet on it, and just slap it on a desk, and then be done with it. Or a bookcase, actually. Power cord. There you have it. So, not much to this unboxing, so I'm just going to plug the switch in, and show you what it looks like on this, the little networking setup on the desk here, <clears> or <throat> on the bookcase. So, I'll come back to you once this is all in its location. Here is the current networking setup. It's just this cheap uh, Netis 5 port gigabit switch, which is actually a pretty great switch. It works really well. But the main problem is this router. <laughs> this router sucks. Uh, mainly because DDWRT is a bit broken these days, at least on some of them. It's less broken on this router than it is on some other ones, but on the cheaper routers, DDWRT doesn't seem to work as well. If you push the bandwidth too hard, it just chokes and dies. At least the internet portion of it does. So, I've decided to just go wired where I can and use this for wireless connections uh, bridged to the switch. So, you know, there you have it. So, basically, I've just put this router on the network uh, through the switch rather than through another wireless connection. So, there you have it. And this switch is going to get moved somewhere else, and in its place will go this one. So, and there we go. I just plugged the switch in. Uh, the only thing going into the router is this link from the switch right here. So, 
that will connect. That's in port number five, and that'll connect to one of the uh, ports on the back of the router. So that puts this router on the network, so it can send wireless signals out to things in this room, phones, phones, tablets, laptops, bedside computer, all that good stuff. <clears throat> so there you have it. There's the little LED display down there. Pretty typical. It's just link lights. Um, and it'll tell you which ones are uh, gigabit and which ones aren't with a little light below that which is nice so there's not a whole lot to say about this because it's just a switch an unmanaged switch so it's pretty boring but <clears throat> I thought I'd show you guys that I'm not screwing around anymore wired as much as I possibly can and uh, you may be you may be asking uh, where's the internet come from well that will be the subject of a future video you may be asking, how do you get the internet up here if you're not using wireless anymore? That will be the subject of a future video. It will be part of the net... I'm going to do a video on the whole network setup and how I've changed it pretty soon. So you guys will see that. I usually do a new video every week, so you guys should see that uh, within the next week. So, there you have it. Big boy switch. Well, semi-big boy, but small enough, nice and compact probably works just fine because most switches do even if they're unmanaged so there you have it stepping it up a little bit you guys will see more about the net about networking in the next video so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and have a good one everybody